السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We continue إن شاء الله تعالى with surahs from جزء عمّة and with surah التكوير surah التكوير surah number 81 and surah التكوير um, this is the name of it and there's no mention of another name uh, to the surah. It's called Surat At-Takwir. And it's uh, called At-Takwir because of that uh, first ayah that says, إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ And كُوِّرَتْ means it was uh, when the sun كُوِّرَتْ that wound round, that became round and lost its light and it's overthrown basically to the, to the fire. So a taqweer is the pronoun of it, the rounding, the winding around, to make something, uh, you know, al-qura is something that is a circle or a ball. So this is what's going to happen to the to the sun. Uh, the surah, as it's mentioned, surah al-tirmidi, that the Prophet sallallahu said, man sarrahu an yandhura ila yawm al-qiyamati ka'annahu ra'yu a'in, fali yakra ila shamsu kuwirat, wa ila samaa al-fatrat, wa ila samaa al-shakat, whoever wants to see. The day of Al Qiyamah, as if he's seen it with his own eyes, let him recite "Ida Shamsu Kuwirat" or "Ida Sama Un Fatat" or "Ida Sama Un Shakat." And this ayah is a Makki surah, of course. It's a Makki surah. It was said that it was revealed after Surah Al Fatiha and before Surah Al A'la, after Surah Al Fatiha and before Surah Al A'la. And as we read in the Hadith. The surah talks about the year after. It talks about the year after. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us in the year after among the successful ones. So let's start, inshallah ta'ala, with uh, reciting the first uh, few verses of the surah. I repeat after me, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash shaytani al rajim Bismillahi al-Rahman al-Rahim. إذا الشمس كورت وإذا النجوم كدرت وإذا العشاء وإذا الجبال سيرت وإذا العشار عطلت وإذا الوحوش حشرت وإذا البحار سدرت وإذا النفوس زوجت وإذا الموؤودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت وإذا الصحف نشرت وإذا السماء كشطت وإذا الجحيم سعرت وإذا الجنة أزلفت علمت نفس ما أحضرت طب إن شاء الله إذا الشمس كورت the تاء when it has a sukun at the end you start at the at the تاء it comes out but without the seen sound you don't say كورت you say كورت وإذا النجوم the noon with the shad that takes two counts وإذا الجبال سيرت وإذا العشار أطيرت وإذا الوحوش حشرت وإذا البحار سدرت وإذا النفوس the noon with shad that takes two counts وجد وإذا الموؤودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت تخفى ذنب قتلت وإذا الصحف نشرت وإذا السماء كشطت وإذا الجحيم سعرت وإذا الجنة أزلفت علمت نفس ما أحضرت 
نفسهم من أحرام. So as you see here, this ayat or this ayat in the beginning of the surah talks about what's going to happen in the day of judgment. So if the shams of you know, when these major things happen in the day of judgment, everybody will know uh, what they have brought and what their you know everlasting abode and place. So the first one is the shamsu kuwirat. That means when the sun kuwirat, that means it's one round, it's taken and it's thrown into the fire. It's thrown into the to the fire. It is shamsu kuwirat. This is the meaning of it is shamsu kuwirat. Then the next ayah. Wa idan nujumu kalat, and when the stars shall fall. Wa idan wa idan nujumu. In Kadarat, which means changed and, f- and fell from its place of orbit. Uh, it, it's scattered all over the place. And we'll talk about the words inshallah. And when the mountains shall made to pass away. Suyirat, that means it becomes uh, like the floating cotton or so. And then changed, then it became like something to be blown away. And moved away from its place. وَإِذَا الْعِشَارُ عُطِّلَتْ وَإِذَا الْعِشَارُ عُطِّلَتْ And the عِشَارُ are basically the uh, pregnancy camels shall be neglected. And the meaning of that is that people would not have any use of it, which is one of the most expensive things of their wealth. They used to take care of it. Those attended. Uh, why? Because of well, you know, it's a camel, it's going to give birth, and, uh, and it, it, its uh, offspring follows it. So it's one of the most expensive type of wealth for the Arab at the time. But then, on the Day of Judgment, I mean, it's it's not of use anymore, neglected because of no benefit of it anymore. And when the wahush, or the wild beasts, shall be gathered together. So when they will be gathered also on the Day of Qiyam, with the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be served, and they would get even with one another, as the Prophet والسلام, mentioned in the authentic hadith, where uh, that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would resurrect them, and the horned goat or so, or the hornless one, will take revenge from the one that is horned, uh, as Allah, as the Prophet والسلام, mentioned. And then they will be ordered to die, and they will die and will become dust. And this is what the disbeliever will say, I wish I, he would say that, that he wished that he was dust. And when the seas shall become as blazing fire or shall overflow. So, means that it's been uh, fired, uh, it becomes a huge fire. So, and when the souls shall be joined with their bodies. That means, and, and, and the widget means paired. And this is not just the person and his soul, but also once every action with the person. The action, they depart from the person. And it's uh, compiled in their books. And everybody shall receive their books. And the righteous ones will be with the righteous ones. And the wicked ones will be with the wicked ones. And the uh, evil ones will be with the evil ones and so on. So this is how even the Nufus was a widget. And when the Ma'uda, which is the female infant buried alive, shall be questioned. Because this is what they used to do in Jahiriya. They used to kill the infant if it's a girl because of the shame of raising a girl and things like this. This is in times of when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemned their actions. So it will be asked for what sin she was killed, that child, what sin she was killed. And the same thing with anyone that is killed in this life. You know, the, the killer will be asked in the day of judgment, what made the, the person killed? And the person is in a state of spaciousness, of ease. As the Prophet said, as long as there's no blood has shed. Shed blood, when a person shed blood, I mean, he's, a, he's in big trouble on the day of judgment. So, the infant girl, when she was killed, she was, she will be asked, 
which with with which which sin she's killed for. Of course, there's no sin, but it's to condemn those who killed her. By the Surah of Hoshiot, and when the written pages of deeds of every person shall be laid open, the book of deeds. By the Surah, all of the people, all what the people did of good and bad. Nushirat, that means it's become widespread. Some would take their book with their right hand and some take with their left hand and so on. By the Sama'u Kushitat, and when the sky is Kushitat, Kushitat, that means stripped off and taken away from its place. And that's what it means to be removed. And when the jahim is su'ira, that means it will be kindled to be very strong. Uh, and this is what su'ira means. And when the jannah will be shall brought near, near to the believers for them to enter it. Which means every soul uh, will know what he has brought, meaning of good or evil. Every soul would know. And the ayat continues these meanings. And uh, as you see, one verse after the other talks about what can happen in the Day of Judgment. Some of the things that is going to be in the Day of Judgment, no matter how much a person try to imagine, it's beyond one's imagination. That's why we need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and make the Day of Judgment a day of um, of tranquility and peace and Jannah for, uh, for ourselves. Um, so when we look at the words of the verses, it is shamsu, kuwirat, shams, uh, the sun, neither is one, that's the same three letters, kuwirat, as we said, wrapped up or wound uh, round. Uh, and that's, you know, when you make something of kawwa shay, the, the same word is used for the amama, for example, because it goes around. You can wear Layla and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the night to go around the day and so on. So um, this is a yeah, kuwirat. But it's, as we said, it's going to be wrapped up and thrown into the fire. Uh, and then we the nujum, and the nujum, the rule of Najm, which is the start, is kadarat. And kadarat, as we said, to, uh, to fall or to uh, uh, losing its, uh, its color, its, its brightness. Uh, so in Qadarat, and this is uh, the root of it is Kaf Dal Ra. Qadar is when something is disturbed, or not, uh, not uh, bright anymore. Uh, and the Jibal, the Jibal, the plural of Jibal, which is mountains, Suyirat. Suyirat from Sinia, which is moved away from Sarah, it's you. And the Ishar, the Ishar. Is the, the root of it Ain Sheen Ra? And then Ishar is the plural of Roshara. Al Roshara is the she camel when it's pregnant. So this is the most, again, expensive of the camels. Why? Because she has uh, offsprings to come. And it's Roshara because it's been 10 months have been passed when she's pregnant. That means it's been unattended. Uh, that's when they say Utla is the day when it's people are off and not doing work, so that's Utla. It's been unattended, of no use, no, no use for it. Wa'ith al Wuhush Hushrat al Wuhush is the plural of Wash, which is al Washi or something that is un, unpleasant or unlivable uh, with, cannot live with. Uh, which is basically the beasts and the animals. Hushirat from Hat Shinwa, that means it's going to be gathered. Wa'id al Bihar or Sujirat, and al Bihar is the plural of Bahr, and which is the seas. When the when the seas Sujirat, Sujirat, to be uh, fired or becomes fire from Sin Shi, Sin Jim, Ra. Uh, or, so this is what's going to happen to it, or uh, whether it's becoming fire. Or even Sujirat comes in the meaning of overflow. Why then Nufusu? And Nufusu is the plural of Nafs. Zuwijat. Zuwijat paired from Zayi, Well, Jim, from Zawj. 
Why the Ma'uda is here? The Ma'uda is the female again is said when it's buried alive from where Alif Del Ma'uda. And why the Ma'uda to Su'ilat was asked from Sin Al Lam. By any by what, what, by any thing, what sin? We talked about the sin before. Kutilat was killed from Qatar. Why the Suhaf of Nushrat? The Suhaf is the pages. Sad Ha Fa. And this is uh, the pages. Nushrat, Nushrat laid open. When you see Nushrat, Nushrat, how uh, book everything when anyone get laid open. This is Nushrat. It says what well, is the sky, and the sky is the skies. Or so, kushirat means stripped away. Al kashd is when you scrap something away. And then it says what well, is the jahim or soirat, jahim from jim ha mim, which is the fire and the the, the, the fear fire. So soirat that means set a blaze uh, from sin ain ra. That's the the fire. What is the jannah to uzlifat and the jannah uzlifat. Uzlifat becomes close, near, from Zin, Lam, Fa. Alimat nafsun, every nafs. Ma'ahdarat, what it brought, brought forward when it comes to matters of its actions and the things that it's, that it's did in this life and so on. So this is, again, it talks about some physical things that's going to happen in the Day of Judgment and uh, how this is something that is the most fearful day. and. Uh, when people read the like of, of which is going to happen in the Day of Judgment, as if a person is seeing it and so shows the, the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that those who are, be, are going to be saved from the horrors of the Day of Judgment are those who feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life and they were obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the verse, inshallah ta'ala, will be continued. We'll stop here, inshallah, we'll continue next time. Continue, inshallah ta'ala, tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.